good day welcome to Martinez design in the continuation of a project that we have been doing for a while which is ruthless duplex now in this particular episode we are going to create the paint floor which is going to be the last floor that we have on this uh, project so in the last one we were able to create this uh, level 2 which is what a uh, floor fourth floor plan then if you have never been opportunity of creating level before on your own this is an opportunity all you need to do go to any part of the elevation click on this then you start from architecture then you click on what on the level so here you make it align and join it together with this so you rename it whatsoever form it gives to you you can rename it from here double click on this particular one and then you say right click then you name you call it level 3 just put 3 there to automatically upgrade itself and say yes so everything that has to it to be changed to the name that you have given it so from here now you go to underlay then you save use level 2 because that is what you are going to build on so at this place we have our stair space so what we need to do is to continue our our wall, wall work so what we do click here and you select close the whole chapter up now remember we are not going to cover the whole space up with this so first let the space of of that uh, the staircase to be to be opened so adjust everything to meet up with the standard of the whole building so as you are done with that make sure that you are not doing things that you're going to jeopardize what you have done in the ground floor like this one i think we have issue so align it back to the original position so you're going to do that at the top okay, so this is what you need to do align this one so this guy needs to move a little bit so move move it and drop it on. so that is what you need to do there now you need to start creating the space now what we do here is different from what we did there so we still maintain this uh, rates but here now we want to take it a little bit above then click it around so i have my space in place so for the function i'm going to have here i'm going to be related to what i'm designing so here i have closed this up so this is the the room that is the bench bench floor I just this one to meet up with the with what we have at the back so the space is still go around now what we do now is to create the space and give them a unique functions so what we have here is when you plant you enter the room so whatever you do here belongs to me so what we do here is that we have uh, our toilet and things like that that's needed to be in place so from this room to we engage it to have uh, maybe a small space for gym or things like that so that's going to be passing and this one going to be like that for this space so what we do here is that we create door and put doors where it does supposed to be so since it's the only one that is using this upper space so what we have is that we create door door will be here and door will be here at the same time door is going to be here so we do that and we have our room and bedroom in space so click components and we bring this into space as well let's align it here good so you do that then you give this place to call it gym and this place will be for bathroom and whatsoever we want to do that we are going to do later on and when we are arranging the whole space for working working drum 
so we are done with this now the next thing to do is to create our references flow so now we do here is I click on here and say create flow then you close this up now there is something I did that I forgot to do let me quickly adjust it so go to level 2 at the level 2 this this uh, click finish this particular work is a cantilever work so you push it outside for like uh, 800 push it out so delete so you go back to this place and you align adjust this to meet up so I'm going to do that for you edit so you create that you not finish so you need to create the space for where this uh, steel hole is to be and we're going to have that in this space so remember the this our what is it called now this staircase is going to take a different shape we're going to design a very unique staircase for that so stay tuned and what's the pattern of the staircase we are going to use so you can adjust this one everything to be in between the the wall Good. so that is it so for that so you need to create another level again go to set elevation so here you, you of the shadow so when the shadow is off so what you need to do now is to on the crop region then around that stretch it up so creates another another level so this part I'm around you are going to cut this one with level I just saw this one to good. so you go to level 4 then you go to underlay and you say level 3 so what you see there is what we are going to work with so at this junction what you need to create is to create a concrete uh, you have already created a concrete floor here so what you need to create now is to create an adjustable uh, roof and what you mean by adjustable roof is that you click the roof pattern and say roof by footprint is what we are going to use again roof by foot what by footprint so roof by footprint is what we, we create and allow us to flow this along the pattern that we want to flow it to. So it's not going to flow anywhere, but it's going to be an hidden roof that's going to stay within the... So we are going to use a, what is it called, water collector to transfer all the water system to that. So all those details are going to be there for us. So let us start by doing this one. So use the roof to cover all this side. So let everything be details and cover up. So, so I'm done with this. All we just need to do is to create a magnet. So say you find the roof and you click on this and say define slope. Then you do this one to detail. So when you click finish, you're going to have it. So you go to your TD. I see the whole space is being there. Something is there, okay. Sorry. So you take it here. And it's a three. So you adjust that into space. So this is the 3D that we have been creating for now. So the roof is not finished. We are still working on so many things. So you adjust all these walls. 
so especially the external walls take them up a little bit higher so here you type instead of 3000 just type 4200 so you put more higher than the so you do the same thing as with 4200 most of them are still going to uh, adjust them during the elevation aspect so when you look at them from the elevation you see that they give you some unique look so this one is of a different level of a unique intense pattern so you go to your east so there you on your crop region expand this expand it up so you see um, the way you are creating your beautiful uh, design so this is different design entirely from what we have been doing so we're going to take more time and consider our efforts on this so now we have done with this so what we do that i'm going to work on the hist at the hist side now i want to create something different for myself so now I'll do that in a level three at the level three i'm going to create or say work here so i'm going to start this one by saying offset will be minus minus 200 again this is going to be 600 say apply so i'm going to draw this one around this space and around it as well So go to your 3D and see. Can you see what I've created? So I will get, I did this one now. I did it and say go to level level two. No, go to level three. So for me now, I take this one inside. Escape. So say finish so now you go back to your 3d and see see what you have created so now these are the things and they are coming up one after the other for you to see the details of what you are doing so this one now you can just say attached to the roof the same thing here attached to the roof so wherever this ssr is going to close it up so that is it so you have this one in space, you have this one in space, so you can rest assured and see, sorry for the rendering aspect, so I want to hone the realistic for you to see. So this is it. So this is just the, the programming aspect of what we have designed so far. So in the next class, we are going to now detail the aesthetic, give the whole uh, building a befitting look and arrange everything in order. So thanks for watching.